Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at an alarm circuit. Now, this alarm circuit is cellular-based, so when the alarm is triggered, you'll get an SMS text message on your cell phone. Now, the PIC microcontroller on board the SCAMP board will sense the alarm condition, that the alarm has been triggered, and the first thing it will do, it will turn on the LED on the very left, then it will send a message through the serial port to the HC06 Bluetooth module, and that message will be passed on to the cell phone, which is it's paired to, and when the cell phone gets that message, it will send out an SMS text message alarm to a number that you have programmed into the microcontroller. Now, I only have one cell phone for testing, so what I'm doing, I'm sending that text message to itself. So when I trigger the alarm, uh, this phone here will, will activate. So I have a button on my board. It's my test button. You can see a little uh, tactile button. So when I press that, it's going to send off the alarm. And then it's going to be sent over... See the LED comes on, and I'm getting text message. I have it set up every 10 seconds. It's going to send, send a text message to the cell phone. So next we're going to have a look at different ways that we could trigger uh, the alarms on the SCAMP3 board. Now this alarm circuit is basically a temporary setup because the cell phone has to be at the alarm monitoring location and has to be paired to the HC06 Bluetooth module, so it has to be within range. And it's running an app called Arduino SMS, so we pair it to that app, and the blinking lights here will go solid. So eventually the, the cell phone batteries will die, so it's a temporary solution, so it's like overnight or for a couple of days you want to monitor a location, like say an open door alarm. So say you have a U-Haul, uh, and you're moving, and you're at a hotel overnight, you want to you wanna monitor the U-Haul so nobody breaks in. Or if you have a shipping container, you could set up some door switches, like these magnetic door switches. So if anybody opens the door, it will, it will set off an alarm. So right now I have these door switches hooked up to the, to the SCAMP 3 board. I don't have uh, it paired to the cell phone, so it won't trigger the cell phone. But you can see the LED come on when it's triggered. So if I open the door of, say, my U-Haul or my container, so I pull this away, you can see the LED comes on. Now I'm getting alarm condition that will send an SMS text message. Okay, my next alarm condition will be pressure, so I have a force sensing resistor. So if I apply pressure, so I'm monitoring anything that's going to apply pressure, it's going to trigger the alarm. So I'll put some pressure on the force sensing resistor, and you can watch the LED on the very left come on. So the alarm has been triggered. Okay, our next alarm condition could be a flood sensor or a water level detector. So I have a little sensor here, so when the water level rises up, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, raise this float up, and you're going to watch the LED in the very left when she triggers. So as the water level comes up, it's going to trigger the alarm, and there's the LED coming on, saying that it's detecting water level or flood conditions. Okay, next, we're going to have a look at temperature sensing conditions. Now, the SCAMP3 board has a temperature sensor chip on board, which you can see right here. So we could have over temp or under temp conditions to set off the alarm. So I have a program running on the PIC microcontroller, they'll detect an under temperature condition alarm. So if the temperature drops below zero degrees C, we're going to get an alarm. So we can use it for frost detection on a farm to detect freezing levels. So I have some cold spray. I'm going to spray the, the temperature sensing chip. And my HC06 Bluetooth module is paired to my smartphone. You can see the LEDs are solid. Running the app, app uh, Arduino SMS. So I'll spray the temperature sensor and we'll watch the LED in the very left come on. So she comes on. So now we're going to get an alarm. There's our alarm indicating that we have a frost alarm sent to my smartphone. Now for a simple power outage alarm, you get yourself a 120 volt relay and a socket and you can wire up a power cord into the coil of the relay and plug it into an outlet in your house. So when uh, you plug it in, it's going to energize this coil, it's going to pull down these contacts, and it'll be closed, and when you get a power failure, the contacts will open, and the SCAMP board will detect that, and will give you a power outage condition. Okay, here's the code running on the SCAMP board, and it's written in Flashforth. So the first two words are time delays, so the first one is seconds, so if I type 5 seconds, I'll get a 5 second time delay. The next word is minutes, so if I type 2 minutes, I'll get a 2 minute time delay. Next word redirects all text to the HC06 Bluetooth module at 9600 baud. So it sends the text out UART1, which is connected to the HC06 Bluetooth module. 
Next word is to console. We revert it back to the USB so we could gain access to the fourth operating system. So our next word is called sms.test. That's what you'd be using for testing. Starts out with the begin until loop. So this here is running in this loop continuously. So it's taking uh, the temperature sensor. It's taking a reading from the temperature sensor. It's dropping off the fractional and it's comparing it to zero. If it's below zero, if it's less than zero, it will jump out of this loop. Turn on the LED. That means the alarm is triggered. Redirect all text to the HC06 Bluetooth module. So this is the text that's going to be sent to the Bluetooth module. So there's your 10-digit phone number where you want to send the text. And then there's the text message that will come up. And that's going to happen every 10 seconds. So we'll send this text message every 10 seconds until we hit any key on the keyboard. It's going to come out of this loop. It's going to shut off the LED. And it's going to revert back to the console. So now we have control back to the fourth operating system. So we'll be using that a lot, sms.test, for testing uh, the circuits. So this is the main program. It's called SMS. So the first word, we're going to delay for one minute. That gives us time to pair to the smartphone and shut the door on the U-Haul uh, truck. Then it's going to make pin 1, GPI pin 1, an input with a pull-up. So we're hooking up a switch, so that means it's a, it's a pull-up. Then we're going to read the switch in this begin until loop until, until we see the switch close. And it's going to jump out of this loop. It's going to turn on the LED. It's going to redirect all the text to the HC06 Bluetooth module. And this is the text it's going to send to the smartphone. And it's going to do it three times with a delay of 30 seconds. Then it's going to jump down to this begin a gain loop. So this is going to run continuously. You'll never get out of this. So it's going to be blinking the LED. So when the alarm is triggered, the LED will be on solid as it's sending the text out three times every 30 seconds. Then it's going to blink the LED, indicating that it has sent the alarm and is stuck in this begin and gain loop. So the only way to get out of this loop, you've got to power down the system and power it back up again to run SMS. So that's our code for SMS alarm. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard, my SMS alarm circuit. You can see the two main components. There's our scamp board, an HC06 Bluetooth module. Now the scamp board is feeding 5 volts from VIN into the VCC of the, of the Bluetooth module. It's getting power. The grounds are common over from the scamp to the Bluetooth. Then we have the TX1, that's our UART1, that's fed into RX of the Bluetooth module. Then pin 1, that's a GPIO pin 1, that's our trigger. So it goes through a, a normally open switch to ground. So any device that has a contact that you could substitute in here, any device that has a contact to make your own alarm, you just plug into here, either normally open or normally closed, you could just change the code. So this is our trigger, so you could come up with your own type of alarm, depending what you put into, the, into this, uh, to this part of the schematic for triggering the SMS alarm. Now back in the day, I built an SMS control product for a railway application. So this is my cellular uh, link, this is my cell phone, this is my smarts, it's a single board computer, it's basically an IBM PC x86 running forth. So this was in the nose of a locomotive and it was detecting the impacts, the coupling impacts, uh, because the locomotive was unmanned, it was actually a radio controlled a locomotive, so they needed to see uh, the impacts of the couplings. So this is what I use, and it was featured in Circuit Seller. You could look it up, Circuit Seller, and there's a little write-up how I built this. So if you want, you could build your own permanent uh, alarm. All you have to do is get yourself a, a, a cellular in a box, basically, like this, and then you could build your own permanent alarm system. Okay, so that was my little tutorial on how to build an SMS alarm circuit using a scamp board and an HC06 Bluetooth module. Now you could power this uh, system with 5 volts. If you have power available, you can use a well wart. If not, you can use batteries. I use this little battery holder here. It takes two 3000 milliamp hour 18650 lithium ion batteries. It plugs into here, you get two of them. And it has charging ports in the back, so it charges them up properly. So that works out very well. You just hook that up to the circuit, and you could run that for probably a couple of days. So come up with your own type of, of uh, alarms that you can wire up to the scamp board.
and come up with your own SMS alarm system.